everyone, this is Jenna. And I'm Perry. Breath of the Wild is one of our favorite games of all time. We put so many hours into it, downloaded all the DLC, and combed through the lore looking for secrets together. So with the announcement of the sequel, we were very excited. Of course, we wanted to go through and analyze it as much as possible. The first thing we noticed is the trailer is definitely out of order. It's not just flipping back and forth between scenes, but actually jumping around in time. Likely it was done this way to build more thematic tension, but it breaks up the story. Getting the clips in order is going to be essential to understanding what we are looking at. We worked out our best guess for the actual chronology. We'll start this video by just playing through the edited trailer, no commentary. Then, we will talk about what is happening exactly. Finally, we'll be going over our theories and speculation. Let's get to it. As you can see, it's a lot more cohesive this way. Still, some of those clips go by a bit fast, so we're going to slow it down and break the trailer down scene by scene. We start off pretty clearly. What looks like Malice is swirling around a corpse, while wispy, letter-like green energy spirals above. We can see there's some sort of Sheikah tech hanging above the corpse. Then there's this arm. It has a rather Twilight Princess kind of appearance, but it's hard to say for sure whether this is intentional. We'll talk more about the arm in the speculation segment, but it's clearly doing something to the corpse. We also noticed this creepy audio in the background. <laughs> People have already pointed out that when you reverse it, it sounds like find the body or find my body. Given how hard it is to make out, it's debatable what exactly the line is, but these guesses make sense in context. Meanwhile, Link and Zelda are exploring some underground area. There are rivers, luminous stones, and Zonai architecture. A spiral pattern can be seen on the walls, similar to a design found in the Lome labyrinths. According to Creating a Champion, this spiral pattern seems to be the unique mark of the Zonai, and it can be seen throughout the land. While we're unable to discern Link and Zelda's motivations, it seems like they're searching for something. Gradually, more and more Zonai structures appear, while less and less luminous stones light the path. We cut to Zelda raising her torch to view drawings on a wall. Link turns to her when Zelda gasps at what she sees. It isn't obvious from the original trailer, but the rest of the clips appear to be in a completely separate location. The walls are brick, rather than rough stone. The luminous stones are gone, and even the lighting is different. We have this zoom-in of a crypt, which Link and Zelda travel to after finding the mural. In these clips, it is Link, not Zelda, who holds the torch, implying some time has passed. Further proof of this is the absence of their animal companion from the rest of the trailer. Perhaps the creature was unable to go any further in the confined space of the crypt. Either way, it was left behind. We cut to Link and Zelda standing before the corpse. The corpse's red hair and jewelry greatly resemble previous iterations of Ganondorf. 
The ground surrounding the body looks severely damaged, and malice swarms around the body in tendrils. The process accelerates, possibly responding to Link and Zelda's presence. The music intensifies, there's a flash of light, and malice shoots up and spreads across the room. The atmosphere changes. Rather than the dim lighting from their torch to contrast against the green of the spell, the scene is red and orange, with malice floating in the air. It's very reminiscent to the harbinger of a blood moon. Zelda holds out the torch to get a look at the corpse, and its fingers twitch. Presumably, Ganondorf has been revived. The resurrection causes the ground to shake and Hyrule Castle to rise up. Zelda turns around, possibly looking to Link in alarm. Note that Link is now holding the torch, implying that there's a scene being withheld from us. The ground begins to crumble, and Zelda falls. Link lunges after her and reaches out to grab her, but it looks like he starts to fall himself, and the glowing arm from earlier grabs him by the left arm and pulls him up. Somehow, it seems to infuse Link's right arm with that same magical light that surrounded the corpse. Considering that it grabbed him by the left arm before, it's safe to say that there's another scene in between that isn't shown. The green symbols fade away, as the arm's original purpose is no longer relevant. Zelda isn't present in the clip. Whether it's just the framing, or she and Link are now separated, remains to be seen. That's what we can safely say for sure. We'll get more into the speculation later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.